not only do brown fat cells have way more mitochondria, which is literally giving some of their pigment, but the mitochondria themselves are behaving very differently because they're uncoupled. And by uncoupled, I mean these two fundamental biochemical processes, namely electron transport system and oxidative phosphorylation. So, you know, taking the chemiosmotic energy created from electron transport and then leveraging it to create ATP, those two processes, the more they're linked, well, then we say they're coupled, you know, very tightly coupled, or we could say very efficient. Now at muscle tissue, you'd want it to be perfectly efficient and, and very tightly coupled. Otherwise we'd have a hard time getting anything done. Whereas fat cells, which have such a low metabolic rate, if we can get them to start idling the engine higher, you know, revving the gas, but keeping it the car out of gear. So the RPMs are really high, but the speed is really low. You've uncoupled the burning of the engine with the movement of the car. It's a terrible way to get a good miles per gallon, but it's a great way to burn fat, of course. I am amused when I hear conversations like on the radio about weight loss and someone will say, you got to take our fat burner. It improves mitochondrial efficiency. And I think to myself, that's like the last thing you want. <laughs> Going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where it sounds good. But if you're talking about the mitochondria in your fat cells, you want those to be the least efficient mitochondria in your entire body.